Good morning. Hey, it's me again, and I just wanted to share this baby mini album with you. I have two of them, but I'm going to shoot two separate videos so I can keep them keep them kind of short. Um, and I'm going to do my best to do this with one hand because it's just hard holding my cam or um my camera my um phone. So I apologize. And again, I'm really working on getting. A video camera and get it set up to where I don't have to hold it and um, I'll be able to do haul videos and hopefully some tutorials as well. So anyway, this is a baby mini album I made. Um, not exactly sure who it's going to yet. Um, I was at my local craft book store and I saw this paper and it's the baby mine let me pan over real slowly it's the fancy pants baby mine paper and I fell in love with it I was like I have to have this and I cannot wait to create with it and that you know with doing so much stuff for my granddaughter here and there I have a lot of different baby papers and such but this one oh my gosh it's just so gorgeous so I don't know, maybe I'll end up putting pictures of her in it. I mean, by the time she's an adult, she's going to have a whole library, which is, I'm sure, fine with her. Um, but I just absolutely love the papers. I love how the album turned out. It's very, very simple. And it's one of the albums where you do month. So it's just basically 1 through 12 months. It's putting a picture of each month in there. And then if you want to journal what they did that month. But basically it's just to show how they've changed month by month. So it's super simple inside, but I really, really love the cover. So what I've done was take some of the paper inside. Well, actually, let me tell you, I've started with one of the Michaels chipboard albums in the $1.50 bin. And I have a lot of those and I absolutely love them. They're so easy to work with. So I actually used one and a half or almost two of the albums with this so I could have enough pages and I covered it with the paper and since I used the six by six it wasn't quite long enough and so you'll see that on all the edges I used some brown basil paper to fill in the, the extra space and I actually really love the way it turned out um, the white rosette trim on the left there next to the brown is the Tim Holtz. I just took some um, ribbons and put them on the rings, um, some seam binding that I dyed, the, the baby pink, and put that on there as well. I used the Maya Road banners, the chipboard banners, and I painted them all up and with a couple different colors and they kind of turned out a light, light pale baby pink. And I used the one of the Michaels dollar stamp sets for the baby. It was the alphabet stamp and you know I love my twine so I put little twine bows on either end and some flat back pearls in between. Now my flowers are, the pink flowers are Kaiser Craft, and the rest of those are Hobby Lobby, including the, um, there is a crocheted one under the large pink flower you can see there. So um, that's that. And then I titled it Baby, and then down here it says A Gift from Heaven, and that is one of the tags. There was a sheet of like tag, not tags, but little sentiments and borders, and that to me is a banner. So. I distressed all the edges with my Tim Holtz distress tool and use vintage photo. Now this album did not need to be tied on the side. I just love the way it looked. I have gotten so much of this ribbon. Um, I think it's about, I don't know, I want to say an inch and a half wide at Joann's and it was all like four dollar ribbon on clearance for 97 cents. So I got tons of it and I got several of each color and I got tons of colors. I love it for this but I also want to make some rolled ribbon roses also so I thought that might be something I can try down the road. So anyway I like the way it looks with the tie so I'm going to do my best to untie this and um, I'll quickly show you the inside. was going to have it untied but it's nice to show you the whole effect um, and I'm sorry I'm trying not to move too much here okay so the first page I didn't do anything to the paper is so cute and it just says you know date time weight length and um, of course the little owl is adorable so they can put like a newborn picture there 
And then here's month one. And I love all the little birds. They're so cute. And month two. And there's a little owl again. And again, the papers are so cute by themselves. And they're going to put a picture. And since it's a small album and... and you know, I sometimes I try to think if I'm giving this to someone. I did have someone in mind when I made this, um, but um, I'm not sure about it. So I'm just going to kind of wait and see. I'm, I might make them a different one um, with some other Winnie the Pooh papers and such that I have. So anyway, most of my mini albums go to people that don't scrapbook anyway. I don't really have a lot of friends that scrapbook here, so... You know, I want to keep it simple. So, and here's month three. And then there's the other part of the banner from that first one. And it just says, Precious Baby Mine. So they were kind of together on that sheet. And I split them up. See, aren't these papers just as cute as they can be? I love them. So this is the fourth month. And up at the top is one of the borders that was on the border page. Super, super cute. And here's month five. And then I made a little pocket <clears throat> with some tags from my Tim Holtz die. Um, it's kind of overkill. I probably need to take some out. Um, but when I showed you the paper pack, I was going to show you there is no paper left in it. There's only just a few little strips up at the top. I used all of the paper for these two albums, and I love that I got two albums out of it. And there's really no waste, so I really tried to use it all. There's a couple little tags on this six-month page. <clears throat> Very simple. The stripes are cute. Again, they're going to put a picture there. And I just tried to put a few little tags here and there, so if they want to journal or put a date or whatever, they certainly can. And here is a banner that I uh, fussy cut from the border page, and that's month seven. And I love that paper. It's so pretty. And then the next page, month eight, super, super cute. This is White Rabbit, Little Ducks. And then over here is page nine, Love the Frog. Love the colors. The colors are just really, really nice. And you know, they're not your traditional baby colors, but yet I just think they're so, so nice. A few more tags. Maybe too many for that page. I may pull them out, but for now, that's where they are. And I like this page as well. And I just cut a piece of the paper and um, just distressed it up and put it there at the bottom. And then 11 and 12 had to fit on one page, so hopefully they'll be able to, you know, do the Walgreens or the Costco, the two-by-three photos or whatever. They can overlap them or, or, you know, whatever. So, and that's it. And then on the back page... Is basically this I just took the same paper as the front and it's just plain and I just need to put my information on there still so anyway hope you guys are having a great day hope you guys like this and I'll talk to you soon bye